Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Beatitudes and what they say about sinners and forgiveness. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Get the app. It's available on all major platforms. And donate your tax-deductible gift. He caught that. Keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us rolling. And that, and our kids, our kids need this get the, the need this gospel in these dark times. The Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are those of the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, they shall receive merciful. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for, for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil, falsely, on account on my account, rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for such is the way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. And it's not that you want to look at yourself and go, I need to get some poor in spirit. I, I need to get some mercy. I need to get some some um some hunger and thirsting for righteousness. I need to get some pure in heartness. That's not how this goes. It's not how this goes. No, you know your sins. You know when it comes to spirit, you're poor. He, it, you know that when it comes to mourning, you got a lot of it. You got a lot of it. Mourning your sins, mourning your actions. Meek, you know, they teach us to be assertive, but really, when it all boils down to it, we're all afraid of God, afraid of what he's going to do to us, afraid of what he's going to, what, he, what because of what we've done hungering and thirsting for a righteousness which isn't ours, merciful because we need mercy, pure in heart because it's washed heart clean and we've been pieced and so we peace others. For sinners who look at themselves and realize that they have absolutely no hope of salvation apart from the suffering and death of Christ, there simply is no time, not enough time and certainly not in five minutes to rejoice in the gift of the Beatitudes. Blessed are you, poor in spirit, who have no righteousness of your own. Blessed are you who mourn your sins. Blessed are you who, who, who can't stand up to God and claim a righteousness that's yours, who hunger and thirst for his righteousness, for mercy, for, for, for God to let you see his face and have that face shine. And blessed are those who have no hope other that God has made peace for you in the suffering and death of Christ. The Beatitudes serve as a comfort, not a list of things that you need to do, but a reality check of how you really are and the comfort of what is up with God. Poor in spirit, yours is the kingdom of heaven. Mourning your sins, you'll be comforted. Meek and lowly and beaten up and bruised by the law of God, you'll inherit the earth. Hungering and thirsting for a righteousness which isn't yours, you'll be satisfied in his forgiveness. Merciful, because you know your sins. You can't look up to judge others. You'll receive mercy, pure in heart, even though you look at your heart and you wring it out because it's black and full of sin and death. You'll see God with your own eyes and not with the eyes of the other, of another. And finally, peacemakers, sons of God. That's what you are. And you are persecuted for his righteousness. Righteousness sake. They say you're closed-minded and ridiculously stupid. Today, you're probably going to lose the election. Whichever side you're on, 
and you'll just count it as another 2020 event. This is how they treated the prophets who were before you. God in Christ has shown you mercy. God in Christ has called you a child of God. God in Christ has said, they did this to you, but that's okay. They did it to my prophets who were before you. God in Christ looks at you and says, yours is heaven. You pour in spirit, you. In Christ, comfort. In Christ, inherit in the earth. In Christ, righteous. In Christ, receiving mercy. Not because you earned or deserved it, but because of the righteousness of Christ. Get in your bed, buddy. I don't want to be talked about. Come on, get in your bed. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Good boy. In your bed. All the way in. All the way in. You're embarrassing me, man. All the way in. Get in there. I know being a Christian, there's no promise that you'll be happy, no promise that you'll be successful, no promise that things will work out your way. The promise is in Christ. And the promise is forgiveness. And the promise is mercy. And the promise is an inheritance which no one can take away from you. Which was won on the cross and delivered to you in his word and promise. So, blessed are you. Blessed are you. Yours is the mercy, the grace, the kingdom of God, the righteousness of Christ. You're going to see God. Because Jesus, Jesus died and rose again for you. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.